let us begin our the previous chapter continue in this video i have come with the beautiful content of the chapter political parties and in this content we are trying to understand that what are the challenges faced by the political parties it is very important to know that what basically challenges means challenges means certain parties they has lots of shortcomings these shortcomings are not allowing them to achieve their set goals and such shortcomings are called challenges in the political science so let us see what are the shortcomings prevails and how it's uh, creating lots of hindrances in the working nature of the political parties to achieve their set goals so first such challenges what we are going to discuss is what lack of internal democracy we talk about democracy and in democracy what we understand what we know is that where the people have a choice or freedom to choose their representatives but a party which contest election symbolizing the democratic principles democratic ideas often see that within this party democracy don't prevails let us take the example there are certain parties which uh, well known portfolios or high cost portfolios are being occupied by some of the known people or some of the influential people it may be uh, possible that the person may not have that kind of potential or caliber to hold that post but using its position using his uh, influences often in the party all the high post are uh, occupied by these people so this particular aspect of politic uh, uh, aspect of politics not allow those people with the caliber to come forward and lead the party and when such thing happened if capable persons persons with the ability they don't get an opportunity to lead the party then it's very difficult for the party to achieve their set goals so in today's politics what is the big challenge that political parties are facing that is lack of internal democracy another is dynastic succession most of the party if you see these parties are hold on control by some uh, dynastic people it means the people who coming from one particular background you might have seen there are some parties if father is in a very high position ultimately next successor of that position will be his son no matter whether his son or daughter has that capacity to lead that position or uh, hold that position or not but such opportunities are given some parties are completely controlled by some dynastic people or coming from same dynasty they have control over these parties so don't you think then when any party is hold by such trend of succession not based on the capacity not based on the political knowledge but they are holding the position as based on their dynastic rule this thing is not healthy for any political parties in any kind of democracy so in that sense we can say that the dynastic succession in the political parties is another challenge which is not allowing the political parties to perform its various functions in a democratic manner or in healthy manner to achieve their set goals another is use of money and muscle power in every party some influential people are there some wealthy people are there okay often to hold good position or good post in the party they use their money power they use their muscle power they try to threaten their own colleagues of the same party often this kind of challenges also seen in the political parties next is the lack of meaningful choice some party they are seems like paralyzed today 
because they don't have such capable leaders they don't have such capable members in the party who can hold uh, that post so when experience comes when political understanding comes when uh, the question of leading from the front comes almost the maximum members in the parties are seen as same kind so finding no other better alternative what happened often parties also bound to push forward some group of people in every aspect or in every field of contest often these kind of challenges are seen in the political parties these days and ultimately it is not allowing any political parties to uh, establish in a better way to achieve their set goals so this is how uh, today most of the political parties they are facing lots of challenges and these challenges are not allowing them to perform their functions in a better way then what is the solution to reform the political parties today so there are so many uh, challenges as we have discussed right now no there is a keep on a changing of the parties by the party members you know the use of money and muscle power so these challenges are so serious these days that party not get a party don't get a better uh, scope to execute its ideology in a better way there are lots of problems then let us see how these challenges can be reformed there are some of the measures which is being followed uh, we are not saying that these things are not happening but what is the important the election commission of india which is also called as a nirvachan ayog it's need to make these things implemented very strictly what is that preventing mls and mps from changing party if any party members is changing their party they should not be given ticket to contest elections from any constituencies such such a provisions are there nirbhajan ayog has given this kind of instruction in its code of conduct but most important thing is what these laws or these rules and regulation which nirbhajan ayog has talking about should make it execute very strictly it should be taken in care that these things are executed very strictly and ultimately what happened when the movement of the leader uh, these political leaders from one party to another party would be restricted then definitely it would over it, it would uh, help the political parties to overcome their challenges second restriction should impose on use of money and muscle power it should be made very uh, election commission of india the nirbhajan ayog should observe every party very closely and if it is found that any leaders in any political parties or any party is uh, using its money and uh, muscle power to influence other party to influence the voters in any means that should be taken very strong uh, actions like their uh, uh, registration should be cancelled from the nirbhajan ayog they should be restricted to contest election from any constituencies or some such uh, action should be taken very strictly then only it will help these political parties to reform their challenges party should maintain internal records and make bylaws to execute strictly every political parties they have a bylaws now what are bylaws bylaws are the rules and regulations which party member and the party is expected to follow these are called bylaws now first important thing that party should make uh, this bylaws execute very strictly among them and among their party members and another thing this uh, uh, they should maintain the internal records what we mean to say the internal record that data of every party members whether how much time they attend the party meetings what is their contribution for the uh, upliftment of the parties what kind of uh, work they have done in their constituencies such a record should be maintained and based on that record if they have given other responsibilities or the 
promotion within the party then definitely it will help the party to reform or it will help uh, every political party to uh, curb out the limitations or the shortcomings they have within the party next to that state funding should be done in the election you have, you have seen in every elections crores and crores rupees is being uh, make a flow from one state to uh, in every election in every state so from where this money comes no often the unlimited uh, expenses that made by the political parties it's one of the root cause of what called nations exploitation of wealth not only that this um, in this way these political parties are uh, attracting their voters you no know, by uh, giving them money or giving them some articles so in that way during the election if funding should be done by the state rather than the any political party individually then the this uh, political parties they will not left the much options to use their money in uh, any any elections now see this is how uh, one can think of reforming the political parties this is what uh, today need to do to resolve the political parties or to overcome the challenges of the political parties so this is what this chapter talks about very short but a very interesting chapter i hope that watching through this video and if you read the text once it will surely help you to understand the chapter so in this chapter this much only let us have a quick review how we have started we have started with the water political parties and after that we have discussed uh, when we have explained that political parties are those organizations which come forward and they contest an election now after that functions of the political parties political parties perform various functions that we have discussed next to that necessity of political parties why in democracy the political parties are needed that we have discussed and we also try to understand how many types of political parties we have these are nationalized political parties and regional political parties and after discussing that we try to understand what are the challenges the political parties are facing and in this last segment we have discussed about what are the initiatives should be taken to overcome these challenges these political parties are facing i hope that watching through these videos it will surely help you to understand the text and after watching that you must read the chapter and keep on learning stay safe stay well thank you